Namaste to everyone. Morning. So welcome. We are on the last step of exercise one. Observing the self by the self. If we go over the steps quickly. Step one, we observed the imagination. Particularly, we were looking at the feeling in the imagination. Step two, we asked ourselves, is the feeling that I am having at this moment naturally acceptable to me or is it not naturally acceptable to me? Step three, we asked whether with the feeling that I have at any moment, Am I comfortable, that is happy within, or am I uncomfortable or unhappy within? Then in step four, we asked who is deciding the feeling that I'm having at any moment. And we were able to see that this feeling that I have at any moment is my own doing. I decide this feeling. So in step five, we came to the question, what is the basis for my deciding the feeling? How do I decide this feeling? Is my feeling based on right understanding or is it based on an assumption in the absence of right understanding? Because if I have the right understanding, then I will have the right feeling, a feeling that is naturally acceptable to me all the time in continuity. So my feeling will be definite and I will be calm within, comfortable. I will be in happiness. On the other hand, if my feeling is based on an assumption without the right understanding, then it is not clear whether it will be in line with natural acceptance or not. Sometimes it may be in line with my natural acceptance. At those moments, I will be calm, I will be happy within. But whenever it is not in line with my natural acceptance, then I will be unhappy, I will be disturbed within, in contradiction. But it is also clear that I want to be happy at all moments, every moment. So then we came to step six. What do I need to do for that? So we need to have the right understanding so that we can have the right feeling so that we can be happy within all the time. So we try to understand the feelings that are natural for us, the feelings that are naturally acceptable to us. And those are the feelings of relationship the feeling of harmony, the feeling of coexistence. So we said that we need to contemplate on the relationship, the relationship that is already there. We need to contemplate on that and see our role, our participation. We need to understand the harmony the self-organization that is there in every unit and we need to realize the coexistence, the submergence of all the units in space. So now when we see that these are the feelings that are naturally acceptable to us, the feeling of relationship, the feeling of harmony, the feeling of coexistence, we try to see if we can ensure at least in at one moment, this moment, that I have the feeling of relationship, not the feeling of opposition. That I have the feeling of harmony, not the feeling of disharmony. That I have the feeling of coexistence, not the feeling of struggle. And if I can ensure this at this moment, then I can be in harmony within. I can be in happiness within, at least at this moment. 
So if I can ensure it at this moment, then I can also ensure it the next moment. And the next moment. What is stopping me from ensuring it the next moment and the next moment? So I will find that I can be in a state of harmony. I can be in happiness within at every moment if I ensure this feeling within myself at every moment. So I can be in continuous happiness with this. So yesterday as a point for self-reflection, we had talked about this and we had decided that we would try to do this several times a day, particularly when we are disturbed, so that we see at that moment when we are disturbed, become aware that there is a feeling in me that is not naturally acceptable. Look at what is naturally acceptable and see if you can have that feeling at that moment. And notice the calm within. Do you feel comfortable within? Uh, while every moment I want continuous happiness, I am reminded of some household work or uh, responsibility. At the same time, uh, I am also feeling some kind of physical pain. Uh, so my continuous happiness is disrupted. And to again regain back, uh, what are the steps I need to go through uh, so that I can again get back my continuous happiness in that particular moment? Yeah. So if there is some pain in the body, right? Now I can try to see what is this, why is this pain there? Pain is a <coughs> sign of disharmony, isn't it? So there are two possibilities when you experience some pain in the body, right? One yeah. possibility is that you see where the pain is resulting from and try to fix that problem so that there is harmony in the body and the pain comes down, isn't it? Just suppose yes. there is a stomach pain and now I'm trying to see why I'm having the stomach pain. Then I may be able to go back to, just as an example, mm -hmm. I may have overeaten at lunch or I may have eaten something that is heavy and not, you know, I'm not having the capacity to digest. And now I'm having the stomach pain. So mm -hmm. one possibility when I see this pain is that I become disturbed. And you'll see why the disturbance is there is fear of something terrible having happened. Because I don't know where the pain is coming from. I may start thinking of all kinds of possibilities that it may be something very bad. It may be something that I cannot uh, check. Maybe it is, if I uh, worry too much, I might think this might be cancer and this could be this. this I may have read something about stomach pain and linked my stomach pain with something else. And I may become fearful and have disturbance within. All that is possible. The other possibility is I see that there is some pain in the body. Okay, I am responsible for the body. Let me find out what this pain is coming from. And it could be something very simple that I ate something heavy, likely mm. not able to digest. Okay, so now I will take, you know, there are n number of herbs I can use. Make, uh, you know, something with uh, cumin and uh, carom seeds water boiled with that and I can have that and maybe that will help relieve the pain. I can try out different things to try to remove this disharmony in the body which is causing the pain. So these yes. two possibilities, one is to try to correct the problem. I don't need to be disturbed and unhappy about it. But if I am fearing something in the future that this may lead to, then I may be having this fear that something terrible might happen to the body. 
that may be linked to my assumption that I am the body. And so if something happens to the body, that means something has happened to me. So with that, I may be having a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to me. Isn't it? So therefore, I become unhappy. But what is being said is that without being unhappy, with that feeling of responsibility towards the body, I can actually try to see where this disharmony is coming from. I can see this pain as a sign of disharmony. And I can try to correct this in the body without getting disturbed by it. Isn't it? Is that possible? What is happening is, like we were saying, you know, the feeling is being driven by the assumption. Isn't it? So if I have this assumption, even though I may have as information that as a human being, I am coexistence of self and body. But underlying assumption that I am body is so strong that even though I have this information, at times like this, when the pain comes, my fear is something has happened to me. I am not able to see that as the self, you know, this is something that has happened in the body. And if I can see myself as self, I will see that with that feeling of self-recognition, I can take responsibility for the body. I can do whatever is required to correct the disharmony in the body without getting disturbed by it. Mm -hmm. So you will see that here also that strong assumption has taken over the feeling, isn't it? So now if I reflect on it like this and I can see that, you know, yes, with the feeling of responsibility, I can do such and such thing. And I can correct the problem in the body. Whatever may be the situation, I can see what needs to be done and do it. I don't need to be unhappy about it. I don't need to have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to me. Isn't it? So yes. how that comes about is when you have this understanding that I am not the body. I am the self. Can take responsibility to correct the disharmony in the body. Ultimately, I'll be able to see that I was the one who was responsible for that disharmony in the body. In the case of the stomach pain, I did a lot of overeating at that point. Therefore, this may have happened. Now, why did I do that overeating? There also, I was not aware at that moment. If I was aware, I would have been able to see that I have already consumed what is sufficient for the body. I did not need to consume any more. But I was not aware at that moment. Perhaps I liked the taste. So I continued to eat more than what was required for the body. Because I continued to eat more than what was required for the body, it created disharmony in the body. Gas, bloating, whatever, and stomach pain. Mm -hmm. So now I can see that there also I had lost awareness. So like this, at many moments, we may be losing awareness. But if we take charge, if we take responsibility, if we become aware, if we can see things as they are, that I am not the body, I am the self, I am, can take responsibility for the body. Now the whole picture changes, isn't it? So this is how our assumptions keep playing out. We have so many assumptions. With that assumption, whatever assumption we have, the feeling gets driven by that and we are not aware. So this is why we have to become aware of the feeling. We have to also see our natural acceptance and ultimately we have to understand. We have to understand at all the levels, everything the way it is, at my level, at the level of the family, the society, the nature, all of existence. I can't leave out anything. Until and unless I can see the whole picture, I cannot place things properly. I cannot really see the reality as it is. Until and unless I go all the way to seeing everything in this existence the way it is. I, the, I am also... Um, my continuous happiness is disrupted by some household responsibility. Yeah, again, why do I need to, uh, you know, 
have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable why do i have to become unhappy either i can do the task or i can't do the task if i can do the task i can go ahead and do it i don't need to be unhappy if i am not able to do the task then whoever i am talking to or whoever is telling me to do that task i can discuss with that person that i need help for it but i don't need to get unhappy do i so this what we had just discussed was step 7a now further in 7b as i am able to understand relationship harmony and coexistence through 6b through my contemplation through that you know working on it i am able to decide in favor of the right feeling a feeling of relationship feeling of harmony feeling of coexistence in a very natural manner and i am calm i am comfortable in harmony in a state of happiness within now although this is you know we are saying this in step 7b and because we have read through this let us not assume that we have understood everything and now i have the right understanding because this will take time we may have the information about it but to act actually bring it into living practice it will take some time like the issues that were being discussed with dr devi with dr um, devi prasanth ji so we'll be able to see that even though we have it as information still there will be many moments when we are unhappy and that is because all of this information we have but we haven't been able to apply it fully in our life to begin with the very first step becoming aware of the imagination at every moment this is a very significant step and like we keep saying we'll keep going back to it because without that awareness every moment again and again i slip into not being aware and whenever i am not being aware at that very moment some assumption is driving my feeling and then i am not sure i may be unhappy so i can see that when i am able to understand relationship harmony and coexistence completely then on the basis of my understanding i will be able to decide the right feeling at this moment the next moment and every moment then i will be in a state of continuous happiness so therefore i need to develop myself by ensuring every moment the understanding of relationship harmony and coexistence with that understanding i can ensure every moment the feeling and the thought of relationship harmony and coexistence with that i can be in a state of continuous happiness within and share it and when i share it because i am happy when i express it to the other the other also does not have any problem with my good behavior so i can be the source of happiness for the other also because whatever i have only that i can share if i am unhappy i will share my unhappiness with others and make the other also unhappy if i am happy if i am comfortable within i will share that with the other and help the other also to be happy so this is what we need to keep doing and we'll have to keep doing this even when we go to the next exercise observing the body by the self even there we will find that we still have to keep coming back to this because ultimately it is the self that is observing the body so with the observation of the self then we will be doing observation of the body 
this is something that we have to keep doing. So, what do we need to do? Let us look at this assignment. Become aware of your imagination, of your feeling at this moment. Check, are you feeling comfortable within or uncomfortable within at this moment? If, you're, if you are uncomfortable within, your feeling at this moment is not based on right understanding. So ask yourself, can I ensure the feeling of relationship within myself at this moment? Can I ensure the feeling of harmony within myself at this moment? Can I ensure the feeling of coexistence within myself at this moment? You may be able to notice that with the feelings that are based on right understanding or natural acceptance, that is feelings of relationship, harmony and coexistence, you are now comfortable within, you are happy within at this moment, regardless of the situation outside. You will be able to notice that when you are aware of the feeling, the situation outside may not have changed. The people outside may not have changed. But the very fact that you become aware of the feeling and you are able to see which feeling is naturally acceptable and have that feeling, the very moment that you have that feeling, you will be calm. Nothing outside has changed. Person outside has not changed. Situation outside has not changed. But your state within has changed. You are now comfortable. You are happy. So if I can ensure these feelings of relationship, harmony and coexistence within myself at this moment, I can ensure this at every other moment also. And I can be in happiness at every moment. Be calm, be comfortable. Isn't it? My head of the department in uh, application that one of the lab in charge the other lab uh, we were conducting one event on august and during that and the projector screen was damaged and uh, i know as i was in charge of it so he was asking what has happened and uh, that damaged screen means somebody has written in the projector screen you know, with a permanent marker. And when, you know, uh, the lab in charge is asked, how did you know that uh, the screen is damaged only during that time and so many things. And while an interaction of all these, I was observing my imagination and I was not bit comfortable. And though it was not expressed outside, but somewhere I was not very comfortable. She stated at the lab in charge. So she said, you know, she was being instructed to write the application in that way. So suddenly I felt, you know, somewhere again the feeling of opposition is gearing up within. But if we could see the resolve, resolvement part of this, we can just ask the storekeeper to, you know, get his projector screen, it can be replaced. So even, you know, it was two days past. And when I was just observing this 10 minutes, it just came into mind. So somewhere I was wondering that you know, deep rooted, uh, it has gone to subconscious mind and the, that thing is not resolved within. Though when we say, yes, it is fine, but it is not. Just like I was wondering. Yeah, the thing outside, perhaps the situation got, you know, was okay because whatever was damaged has been placed. So the outside, everything looks fine. But inside, I may be having many assumptions, no? That since my name has come on top, I may feel that, you know, what will the others think about me? Or So many things may be there. So many assumptions may be there, which I am not facing up to, or I'm not able to see. But I need to be able to see that if I... I'm disturbed. If it is coming back again and again, certainly I'm not comfortable with it. I can notice that, isn't it? This is why it's coming up again and again, or you are able to see it every now and then. 
so there also i can see what is that assumption that is leading to a feeling which is not naturally acceptable to me is it that my name came into that picture is it that i felt what will the others think for so many months i did not notice this or something is disturbing isn't it these are small things this is ultimately what happens small incidents small decisions that you know have no major bearing as such outside they are small things but we link them up with so many assumptions within then it becomes a problem for us then it is uh, causing disturbance within so one is to be able to resolve that disturbance within and also see that for next time uh, that small mistake can be avoided we can be more vigilant about such things if we need to be able to see it earlier isn't it so we can do whatever is required for taking care of the situation outside also but at the same time more important even than that sometimes will be this feeling inside that we have to resolve so as you keep doing this you will notice this that there are so many assumptions that are leading to such feelings within every now and then so more vigilance more awareness within will help even in the situation outside because our thoughts our behavior can then be brought in line isn't it so today all day we'll try to become aware of the imagination of the feeling do this uh, exercise as thoroughly as sincerely as we can as many times during the day as we can and perhaps if possible note down these your findings of what you observe in the feeling of you what you observe about the feeling that you have whether it is naturally acceptable or not whether you are comfortable or not and can you see what is naturally acceptable and can you have that feeling at that moment